Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to Boy Meets Evil. We are continuing the BU. Um, some people have said that Boy Meets Evil is a part of the BU and then some people say that it's not. So it's kind of like, I feel like it's kind of like film out in the sense that like people, like it might not officially be a part of it, but a lot of people think that like it has something to do with it. So um Either way, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm excited to see it. I heard it is a J-Hope solo, so I'm super stoked about that. Um, I really enjoy all of J-Hope's stuff. I know that J-Hope right now is working on Hope World, um, the second one. Um, I really need to check out his first stuff. I know that he has um, a few songs I think I've reacted to, but I need to check out everything else before Hope World... Um, 2.0 comes out so yeah we're gonna go ahead and watch this um I might I don't know if I'm gonna do it like I've done with my other BU content where I'm gonna watch it and then write down thoughts and then talk about it afterwards because I don't know if it's that type of video or not so we will find out together so let's go ahead and get on into Boy Meets Evil <laughs> My scene was not specifically this or that, but consisted of having shaken hands with the devil. The devil held me in his clutch. Okay, hang on. So, <laughs> if this is a part of the BU, the last thing that we saw was a wake. And the last scene was Jin staring down this weird hallway. And then I swear he grew like wings. And we know about Abraxas now. Okay. Okay. Let's start this over. <laughs> this or that. My scene was not specifically this or that, but consisted of having shaken hands with the devil. The devil held me in his clutches. The enemy was behind me. What? What? Okay. Okay, and it's called Boy Meets Evil. So he's shaking hands with the devil, but the enemy is behind him? Isn't the devil in front of him? Who's behind him? Or is, or is he saying that the devil is his enemy? What? Okay. Okay. I'm not ready. <laughs> okay, before it even starts, you can already see from the surroundings that he looks like he's in like a dungeon. This is giving me like, I feel like a dragon is about to come out already. This is giving me like vibes of him being like in a dungeon castle and like a dragon is gonna come out <laughs> i don't know why okay yeah because it's dark there's no windows well maybe there's a window like above him right now because there's light shining down on him but it looks like he's in like a jail almost he's like being held <laughs> Oh, and there's the shadow again. Okay. Okay. I, uh, there's so many reoccurring themes. I'm sorry. This video is going to be long. There's so many reoccurring themes with like fire, water, shadows, like innocence, the devil, like good and evil. I'm probably missing a bunch of stuff, but there's so many reoccurring themes and like, I know that that shadow was put there intentionally. I'm not sure why, but I know it was put there intentionally. And like in Awake, the last thing, the last video we saw in the BU was the shadow of like the wings that were, I think that were wings on Jin. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna let this play now. I'm not gonna keep pausing it. <laughs> oh, I love that like guitar. I think that's a guitar. I don't know. Although I 
줄까 내 미래의 비 지기 어린 사랑의 이름 꿈을 꾸어 내 야망의 도끼 매우 칼을 갈았지 뭐 참을 수 없는 내 욕심에 칼을 묻혀져 알고 있었다 이 사랑은 악마의 또 다른 이름 손을 잡지 마 외쳤지만 쳐버렸지 내 양심을 날이 갈수록 느끼는 날 가로는 실도 현실에 지겨풀 때 묻은 비도 생각 못했지 그 욕심이 지옥을 부르는 나 팔이 젖히는 자오르겨 뒤틀린 현실에 눈 감는 매어밤 울리는 비극에 오르겨 But 잊어요 먹게 그걸 잊는 게 단초에 보기가 안 돼요 에어 그 입술이 너무 다 고백해 희한해 취해서 버려진 미래 깨어나고 볼땐 이미 사방이 지를 건드릴 수 없는 매성주의 시선들 기적고 외쳐 현실을 미치도록 좋아 Okay, I don't even know I... I literally did not read one lyric. I was just so mesmerized by his dancing. Okay, I'm sorry. We have to go back and watch that all again because I have absolutely no clue what he just said. I literally, I'm excited to watch that clip back because I think I just had like my like jaw hit the floor and I was just mesmerized by his dancing. He is so talented oh my gosh i know i say that all the time but he is so good like you could literally show that to anybody and like there's no denying it like there's no debate like j-hope is one of the best dancers I i'm not gonna say in k-pop because i don't i haven't watched i have i i don't like to compare groups i'm not that type of person i don't dislike any groups but from the things that I've seen in like the West Coast, he is one of the best dancers I have ever seen, ever. He is so passionate and precise and the, his body control is absolutely insane. And I know that doesn't mean a lot coming from someone who um, cannot dance, but I appreciate dance so much. I have a lot of friends that, that do dance like professionally and so I like listen to them talking and I'll like watch, like we watch Dance Moms and like um, that one show with the Jabberwock, he's on it and stuff. And like, he's up there, not with like Dance Moms. He's obviously better when the, than the girls when they were like nine. But you know what I mean? Like I've like picked up on um, like dance terminology and like skills from watching like Dancing with the Stars with my friends and stuff. And like he, if he danced in front of like those judges, I think they would be like, Holy crap, you are so good. Okay, I'm I could talk about J Hope all day, but let's let's watch this. Again. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and read down and watch him. <laughs> this is definitely one of those videos that's gonna be like a watch the I'll do what you got. Then made it be Chiki on his side. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, of poisonous. Um, I'd like to point out that the smoke and stuff is reminding me of the colors that were in J-Hope and RM and like Jungkook's painting and stuff. So I can see why people think that this would be tied to the BU. And then he's talking about his like childhood being lost, which I feel like is the whole overarching theme of BTS, but also the BU. Ooh, I love that part. His voice. Oh, 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 I love that part. His voice. I shed blood cut by reality. Like the like the facts of like life and reality is is literally cutting me like a knife. I need to go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
because of childish love i lost my way of dream okay and we know that he he obviously has like mommy issues or like something that sounded really insensitive i did not mean it like that but we know that he had something to do with his mom because we just listened to his solo mama i don't know what yet but it's something with his mom sorry i guess we're starting over from the beginning again <laughs> Didn't we, didn't we hear a line like that? Like your lips were too sweet or something? In some other song? That sounded familiar. This, his dancing is so good. I am getting so distracted. It's literally taking everything in me to like not watch him dance right now and to watch just like the lyric subtitles. <laughs> god guys guys i am so obsessed with this man he is like okay jimin is my ultimate bias and i don't think anything will ever change that but my like bias records change on the daily and j-hope he is always just like hey remember me like that's how i feel like every time i see like a picture of him or like hear him like rapping his verse or watching him dance he's like hey like I know your bias is Jimin, but like I'm right here. Like J Hope, you're destroying me. Look at him. And now we have all the colors. Okay, okay, I need to stop being whipped by J-Hope. But okay, notice, I know that you guys all can see it because you have eyes, but the colors are like in Jungkook's painting, in RM's video, and then in J-Hope's video. J-Hope and Jimin are up here. That's all mixed up. Okay, okay, but then also notice that in the back, it looks like, it's like a jail cell. It looks like now he's in like, is this like him being in hell now? Cause he like transitioned, he did that flip and it was like right there, it's light. And then the floor breaks. And then is that like him transitioning or like maybe not hell, but he's in like a whole nother like world, like the evil part of the world. Cause he's meeting evil. I don't know, but his body roll and that look at the camera just, I could watch that all day. So good. Right here. The song is sick. Guys,
Was that him? Okay, I know I I am so I'm I'm blacking out right now because I'm so entranced by J Hope's beauty and talent. Was that him that was standing there and then the wings came up? Jesus, how do you do that? I can't even do a somersault in a straight line. This flip. All right, so wait, okay. This came out October 10th. When did this video come out? Dang, so you guys had to, I always think about that. You guys had to like watch this. Oh, it was the comeback trailer. And then you you hadn't even like heard of Wings yet because this came out first. That's crazy. I, I haven't had to deal with that yet because I haven't gone through like a whole album comeback yet. So I haven't really had that like teaser and then not knowing what like the rest of the album was gonna be. But I can't imagine seeing this video and then like all the people who have all the theories of, oh my God, like what this album's about to be about. And then it was Wings, which I love B and I love Map of the Soul 7, but I really think that Wings is like my favorite album so far. It's just so good. And Map of the Soul 7 is great too. Um, I don't know. I can't decide. But wow. Um, I, I don't think I need to like watch it again on my own because there wasn't like a whole lot of like, it was just him dancing, which I'm not complaining. That was absolutely amazing. I think this is my favorite J-Hope song. I know I say that too every time I hear a new J-Hope song. But like the music itself like that, I think that's a guitar. I don't know. I'm not musically inclined. Um, the guitar and then his dancing. I, I, he didn't even have to like sing in that. There didn't even have to be lyrics. And I would have loved it just as much as I love it with lyrics. But anyways, I, I have no idea. Long story short, I have no idea. Um, and again, um, some people say this is tied to the BU. Some people say it's not. Um, I can see how people think that it is um, because of... Obviously, like, the overarching theme of, like, innocence. I feel like it's a lot of, like, the struggle of, like, losing your innocence as you grow up. And then we know that he has that issue with his mom. Um, and then also, if it is tying in with, like, his his story in the BU where he, like, is struggling with, um, like, his mental health. Like, maybe that's what he means by, like, he met the evil, which is like the pills maybe i have no idea i genuinely have no clue what's going on in the bu <laughs> at all um you guys say that like i'm like kind of on the right track and then some people are like you're on the right track and then like you go off on this tangent so i have no idea um yeah i can't get over jay hope he is so talented uh, so talented oh my gosh okay i again i could talk about him i could talk about all of them all day if i had the time to and if someone wanted to listen to me i could literally talk about each of them all day um so yeah anyways that was boy meets evil the comeback trailer i'm pretty sure blood sweat and tears is next so i know everybody's been waiting for that for forever so um i think that's next i'll have to double check but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I'm sorry for it being so long. I know you guys say you don't care, um, but I apologize anyway in case um, it's too long for your preference. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.